Okay. Hudson. Yes, Connor. What are we doing today? We are going to make a subreddit and review all the content submitted by our viewers. Ah, oh, this is going to be great. Okay. Uh, how do you make a subreddit? Uh, I don't know. Oh, it's, it's right here. Okay. Your personal re- Oh, what? To prevent spam, accounts must be at least 30 days old and have enough positive karma to create communities. So instead, we're going to review someone else's subreddit. Yeah. Would I be the asshole if I, 24 male, stopped cooking for 24 female girlfriend? I've been with my girlfriend uh, for four years, living together for two. Off the start of the relationship, I knew she was a picky eater. We would go to fancy restaurants and she would order the simplest things or the same things over and over. It seemed weird to me, but I didn't really care. She can do whatever she wants. I only really realized how annoying this is when we moved in together. Now, I on the other part, I am the opposite. I like to try new foods, new tastes, and get better idea of food in general. I also love cooking and have a culinary arts degree. I want to become a chef, but I didn't uh, for other reasons. You should be a I chef. Know, yeah, you should be a chef. Follow your dreams. You can assume that I do almost all the cooking at home. I already think the, the girl's an asshole. Only when I started cooking for S did I realize how picky of an eater she is. She hates almost everything, even if she can't really taste it in the end product. Yesterday, I was making a Spanish omelette and she complained when I added the tiniest pinch of thyme in there. It's, Honestly- It's thyme. It's time. Oh, I'm a fucking moron. I don't want to leave that in. I don't want to look like an idiot. No. Reddit, would I be the asshole if I stopped cooking for her? He's not the asshole. He's, he's completely sane. Am I the asshole for publicly revealing who my biological parents are on Facebook and kind of messing things up for them? Oh. Um, already? That's pretty messed up. Due to reason, I was taken from my adoptive parents and put into foster care when I was 11 and rem uh, remained in the system until I went to college. But when I turned 18, I was given my mother's contact information by someone. They had a public profiles on Facebook and Instagram. I ended up messaging my mother, who never responded. I tried messaging my father, who basically replied saying they're sorry that they would rather not have them in their lives, that it took them a while to grieve over giving me up, and that they didn't want to go through all the pain again. I ended up messaging my grandmother, my mother's mum, who was actually happy to know me. I met her in person and we really bonded. Four months ago, I saw my father post a picture of them at some church event and say, my beautiful wife and our two amazing kids. This was on their oh. church Facebook page. This was probably wrong, but I replied with a comment saying, don't you meet oh. three kids? I didn't really expect the amount of people responding to that as I did. I freaked out and deleted my comment. Then I started getting DMs from people, including people I was related to. Later that day, my grandmother made a post confirming I was a child given up for adoption. The whole drama has kind of messed with their lives and business. My parents are now apparently separated. I don't really accept that as my fault. Am I the asshole for doing what I did? Ah, uh, purposely yeah. put them on blast, basically. For a mistake they did years ago, and now their families hate them. They might not have been able to provide it all. Yeah, exactly. Especially like being nineteen, Did you like meet the Robinsons. We know how this works. <laughs> if I was a child, like if I had a child uh, when I was nineteen, uh, yeah, there's no way I could support it. I'm sure you're the same. So I think I think you might be the asshole. You're a low-key asshole, I think. Oh, first comment. Yes, you are the asshole. You intentionally disrespected their wishes. I get it. It sucks. I was put up for adoption myself and even went through a failed adoption too. Am I the asshole? Wants me, uh, 23 female wants me, 21 female, to delay grad school application so she can get in before me. Oh, we know this sort of thing. Wait, wait we university it. graduates. We are alumni. <laughs> <laughs> My friend, 23 female, who's, <laughs> who... Uh, we'll call S and I, 21 female, both lost our jobs at the same company due to COVID-19. So we both graduated last December. So, so hey, I'm just going to stop right there. They shouldn't complain. They at least got a job after they graduated. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Thinking of applying to grad school because the job market stinks right now. We both really like this one super competitive program and want to apply. But S wants me to wait to apply until next round of application because she thinks if we apply in the same round that I'll get accepted over her. That's already shitty. To be clear, the application opened September 1st of last year and this is already the third deadline, May 1st. After that, it's rolling acceptance based on open spots. This is a program I had looked at for months during my last uh, semester in college, but ultimately didn't apply to since I got my dream job offer. 
Oof. She thinks she has dibs because she went to college in the same state as this program and knows a lot of the professors there. She also told me that they are waiving GRE, GMAT scores because of the virus. And when I asked her to forward that information to me, she said she didn't want me to have that information because then I would apply straight away. So, am I the asshole? No, God, no. You are not the asshole. Um, your friend is the asshole. A hundred percent. Like... For sure. Well, I think that's the end of this video. Please make sure to like and subscribe and also hit that notification bell if you want to yes. see more of our content in the future. Yeah. We'll see you guys in the next video.